Hey kids, Mr. Adam here, and today we're doing an experiment on water density. Density is a measurement that compares the amount of matter an object has to its volume. We know salt water has more matter in it because of the salt, therefore making it more dense than fresh water. Because of this, objects should float in salt water that sink in fresh water. Let's put it to the test. We started off by adding two cups of water into each container. We had to do a little cleanup. Adults sure are messy. Next, we added four tablespoons of salt to one of the containers to turn it into salt water. Adding salt to water makes the water more dense. As the salt dissolves, it adds more weight or mass to the water, which allows more objects to float. First, we tested a grape. The grape sank in fresh water. What do you think happened in salt water? It floated. Next, we tried a golf ball. It's so heavy, we weren't surprised it sank in the fresh water. But we couldn't believe it floated in the salt water too. Next, we tried a big egg. It sank in the fresh water, no problem. Can you guess what happened in the salt water? If you said float, you're right. We decided to take our experiment one step further by collecting water samples from the ocean and river near our house. We marked each jar with an S for salt water and an F for fresh water so we wouldn't get confused. We then used those water samples to retry our experiment with the same three objects. What do you think is going to happen this time? Because the salt water from the ocean is dense like the salt water we created, our results were the same. Whether you live near the ocean or not, this is an easy and fun experiment that you can do at home or in your classroom. Click on the link in the description to visit Teachers Pay Teachers so you can get your worksheets that go along with this experiment. And don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on any of Mr. Adam's adventures.